<laughs> well, actually, we are super hungry. We have ordered a lot, but but here just one lady working, like, so we are waiting for our food. Um, so actually, um, so I I found um your business uh, is a very caring business. <laughs> A very caring business. Yeah, you have to be <laughs> yeah actually, it's, very it's people, not just people. that you, yeah. you, you, no. But the problem is, I think you don't just have them get the visa and and no. buy. No, it's a lifetime. when they yeah. arrive yeah. in a new country, yeah. whatever yeah. problems they have, I believe they call you, right? Yeah. So yeah. what are the challenges um, yeah. of your clients have? Yeah. So okay. So first of all, like what, how I call myself is like a residency. No, no, no. It's like an immigration agent, right? So it might sounds like very cheesy, uh, and then it's real that um, in the in the industry you have a lot of people just like uh, anyhow charge you a lot of money, get you the visa, or they fail to get your visa, still charge the money, or or uh, uh, buy a buy a residential place for you that mark up a lot and come oh, here, and then you realize that you're being screwed. Yeah, there are a lot of people like that. But then for me, I can't do. I can't. I, I'm not this kind of people because you know that you're gonna face them forever, right? So yeah. um, they pay a price. They come here, and that would be a lifetime. Anything like, for example, Lily, like my uh, my toilet doesn't work. Uh, uh, do you oh. know anyone you can you can help or like? Yeah. Can you come here and help me? So you have to be there. Well, I, um, I think sometimes in the beginning, if they don't speak the language, they they, they need, need a someone lot, to a lot of help. Right? A lot of help. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, I, so, I admire your patience. <laughs> yeah, but then, but then when they come here, it's part of my friend. So uh, it, it's just that I love, I love helping people because I myself has cried so much when I come here. So I totally understand how they feel. Um, uh, like yesterday, I, I just want to share with you like one thing that is so funny that um, you will think that these people they did a lot to come to a new country. What they should do is that they should just enjoy life, travel around Spain. Mm -hmm. However, the real issue is that, for example, if you're a, a, a married couple come here to retire, suddenly um, you don't have mate in Spain. Suddenly, what you, you have, but it's so expensive. Yeah. It's expensive, for, not it's everyone not, can not, afford it's not, it. It's not that clean. Like you, you really have to go through the the selection process to yeah. find someone that right. It's, it's true. There, be... there are not as many good ones, right? Exactly. And yeah. also, the the problem is, um, I mean, um, they are they are not not like in Hong Kong that it's so convenient. So they live convenient. in, right? You can yeah. have someone prepares the breakfast yeah. for you, and here to get a live in is yeah. super difficult. Difficult. And because my 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 clients they are quite well off and when they're in Hong Kong they do have mates and then they're thinking no never mind because we come here to retire so <laughs> we will start doing it ourselves <laughs> however the situation is you come here you buy a bigger place oh. and then the man usually will not do anything so it's the woman who used to have a maid to service and now she's the maid oh and then the God. husband doesn't see the difference the maid the husband still expected that I should like tell me what I have for lunch or like how come the, the house is not clean so 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 you start to see the conflicts of the woman start to be a maid and then the men still like expecting to to receive the the service from a maid um, and that drive a lot of tension uh, yeah, and between, the couples, between yeah. the couples and yeah. the women feel know, like why do I have to do this we, we, we fight so hard to come to a new but, country but, but they can get a part time it's easy to get part time maybe not a living not full time but part time is easy no it is going to be a, uh, it is going to be a process maybe maybe she's not like my clients are not persuaded yet uh, but maybe slowly slowly because for them to come to, to come here with a South American um, May, uh -huh. I think they need to they really need to go through a really long oh, selection yeah. process. You know? Oh yeah, and also I the language, you know, and also I mean, really, the, even the Spanish they prefer uh, Filipinos. Yeah, yeah, yeah because um, they think the Filipinos are more hardworking and more yeah. subservient and more trustable. Because I I heard that you know that some some people they they don't want the uh, if possible they don't want South Americans because they yeah. cannot trust them. I uh, I like I have like I was doing Airbnb in. Right, like in Valencia, I have a house, and um, I interviewed this person, and it, it, she was like counting my time, twelve euro per hour, and she's like, oh, I'm so tired, let me have a glass of water, and then she started complaining, and it's like my time, 
She didn't oh know. Oh my god. So at the end, I do it myself. Yeah. yeah. So oh. so so when you pay the money and you you're like looking at the watch, you just you just hates it the feeling, right? So yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's going to be a process. But it's just funny that especially the other thing is that some men, when they leave the comfort zone, they change the character. Yeah, I, I know a lot. I know a lot. How how how? Yeah, explain to us. <laughs> it's just that when the men didn't used to travel a lot. Uh, when they come to a new country, suddenly they lost the control, and then they start started to be very agitated. They lose temper, and they start they want to control more. Um, and um, but and then you, it's, it's but you're talking person. about Chinese men, right? No, 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 no. Oh. Everything. Everything. All, all kinds. All of kinds of men. Because uh, this, I think this is a man thing. That if you in the past doesn't get used to go out. And uh, explore when you come to your older age and go to your new places, you start to become another person. So that's another dilemma, another challenges of my clients. Well. It's wow. very funny. So you are really not just helping them with uh, how to settle down all the small problems, but also like job, a, a counselor. My next job is going to be a, a, a divorce uh, mediator. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh, well, but I'm, I but don't don't make it so job. negative. It's like um, immigration uh, increase the chance of getting a divorce. No, I I just feel no. that no, Esther. If you're in a marriage for forty years and you've been like not always been yourself, and now you're in your sixty, you know that you're gonna die in eighties. You still have twenty years of doing the same thing, or you should. You know, like just pat your back and start to have your own life and enjoy, right? Like I always encourage that. I always encourage that. If you're yeah. not happy with what where you are right now, do something mm. instead of just complain, right? Okay, let's le- uh, let's <laughs> eat. Our food is getting cold. <laughs> so now we have uh, let 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 let's show. We have the scallop. We got just got two, but because we have more, and, and then we the have some prawns. Yeah, is they all from? Well, the 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 scallop. I think they're not from Spain. I'm this sorry Spain, to tell you, right? because the Spanish eat too much of the seafood, so they have to import from uh, Scotland, and uh, because the Scottish they don't eat it. Yeah. You know that? Oh, okay. They then I should go to Scotland. Yeah, I think maybe if you go to Scotland, it will be cheaper. Uh, so the Spanish actually import from the from Scotland, okay. but I think the prawns are from Spain because they are yeah. a lot. Yeah. yeah. So we for, we have been eating the gambas blancas, this prawn, and so not much left, and we forgot to <laughs> talk about this. And so this is gambas blancas. It's from the south uh, in Andalusia. There's a place called Huelva. There are a lot of seafood there, and. Um, this one, the meat is firm. Um, some Chinese people, they don't like the carabineros, the red prawns, because they said the, the meat is too soft. But of course, they, they like the head because it's so tasty. And so, then you can try this one. Um, this is the gambas blancas. Um, the, firm, the meat is firm, and also it's also very tasty. Yeah, I, I, I love this one. So when you come here, you have to try this one. You don't just know uh, carabineros, which is a lot more expensive. This is a good deal. This th- th- we end call, but Lily has finished uh, <laughs> second six. So it's here, this is <laughs> <laughs> because I I I'm busy talking. <laughs> I'm busy talking. So so now I have another six. Yeah, She's I so love slow. oysters. She's so slow. <laughs> well, okay, so. So now she's finished her oysters, so she can talk. Let her talk. Okay. And so actually, um, if you want to come to um, Spain, Portugal, or Greece, do you really have to buy um, a property of uh, five hundred thousand yeah. euro? A lot of people they just thought that um, the only way you can come to the south of um, Europe is that you have to buy properties, mm. but it's actually not true because um, in all these three countries in Spain, in Portugal, and in um, Greece, 
they also have this kind of visa that is like you don't need to invest uh -huh. but then you need to have a certain kind of for example in Spain and in Greece you need to have a certain amount of money in the bank for uh, Portugal what you is the it's much? different um, for, uh, it, it's different depends on country it's so funny um, if you're if you're in from America you just need to have around um, you just need to have around 35 thousand arrows in your bank for the last but like if you're from America you just need to have 35 thousand aerial uh, of saving in the bank for the last 12 months then you can apply for uh, for for this visa this is called this is called a non lucrative visa that means you come to Spain you're not allowed to work you can only spend money um, which uh, the good thing is that after one year being here with this non lucrative visa, you can convert into like a freelancer visa or but the kind of visa that you can work. It's easy. It's very easy. Yeah. 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 It's uh, This is this is but, usually what I do for my clients. For example, if I, uh, you know, I say uh, my daughter is 23, just finished school, and she wants to come to Spain. Mm. And so, can I just make the transfer to her her bank account? No, <laughs> no, because this is a retirement visa. Oh. So she's 23, so she's but not what eligible. What about the freelance uh, visa? Yeah, the D7, which is in in Portugal, could be eligible, but uh, eligible, but then she, um, they she needs to present a passive income. If she tw being 23 years old, but she already have a house that is like receiving rental, that's mm -hmm. possible. However, there's still other types of like a uh, freelancer visa. A for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is this is what I do. Like I'll just take a brief from you. Like what? How old are you? What kind of financial capabilities you have? And then we design. Some people, however, they still insist to go for golden visa to buy a property because uh -huh. first of all, you get a lot of very high yield. Like if you know, if you buy properties here, Actually, it's I like, really, I mean, in Spain, is uh, the rental the yield is high. Yeah. And also the appreciation is is, is very yeah, very high. I think if you buy in, for example, uh, Madrid, if you buy in the central Madrid, actually there's a lot of demand because uh, the wealthy Ameri uh, South Americans, yeah, uh, they actually like to have a property in Madrid. So, but mm. even I would say half a million is a lot of time to buy it. Uh, uh, if you really go through like something in the best area, right? if you want to go for the best area that's rather impossible right now mm -hmm. so it depends on well, it's but gone up a lot yeah uh, it's yeah. really gone up a lot uh, the property price uh. but if you're like you're not targeting at renting it out to the South American mm. or being appreciated so that you get the, the very crazy kind of um, uh, return. return. Mm -hmm. Then you can look at like still in the town center. You still get like five hundred thousand. Uh, you get a very yeah, decent. Yeah, yeah. You get very decent size um, with a high rental yield. Yeah. Um, and this kind of golden visa is for those that who cannot leave the country, who like to have a plan B. Because uh, golden visa, they, they, they cannot come straight away to live here. Yeah, right? yeah. Because for those kind of like a non lucrative or D seven, um, it's very easy to achieve. But then you need to stay in the country for one hundred eighty three uh, days a year. So that's the difference. If you still have a job in Hong Kong, for example, you still have a job over there. But then you want a plan B. Then you come and buy a house and you get a residency card. In case that there's anything change in the world, then you still can fly so far um, and be arrested. Yeah. So that's different. There actually, there are many ways. Huh? I exactly. think you have to, as, uh, if you really want to live in the this part of Europe, um, you know, I just have to start looking into <laughs> that and find a way. You know, uh, there is always a solution. <laughs> there's, a, there's a couple of question that couple of question that you have to think. First of all, is that um, if you're a lady, okay, if you're a woman. How how team how good team you are with your husband? husband. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and and are that's you ready? That's are you ready? The most that's the most one. important question. That's the most difficult one to get a husband. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, no, no, uh, to get a husband or to to have a good husband. Well, to get a husband is easy, but exactly if you want someone with a big uh, tummy, <laughs> and then uh, okay, it's now, easy. But first of all, first of all, good. first of all, my single clients who came here, they all got a boyfriend already, one year. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Much now, easier than in Asia. The single women coming here, they yeah. all get it. Good boyfriend, right? Good it's one. good because good they, one, they're right? like the Spanish, they're like a bit weird, but then they're very faithful. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah, actually. Yeah. <laughs> very faithful. 
Yeah. Can we really speak for the rest? <laughs> I, know. I don't know, but, but for our sofa, and <laughs> I don't know, maybe they're not, but, but, they're but really, to us. you know, there's a huge misconception about the Spanish man. About the Spanish right? man yeah. huh? Actually, the Spanish men are pretty okay. They're okay. They're, they're, they're very family. They're, they're family, family, family based. They're very yeah, very family oriented and also. Uh, um, I don't know. I mean, I think I won't say faithful, but because I wanted to compare to Italians, I think they are more trustworthy yeah, as a husband. Uh, yeah. Because yeah, because I think they're usually they're more serious in the relationship. Uh, um, the thing is, uh, I, I think, think that I, think, I think the next one we should talk about the men, Spanish yeah. men. The next yeah. video. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have a big focus group, but then it's enough. <laughs> <laughs> I, but we, we don't have so much experience. We to get another girlfriend that has more experience. We talk about the Spanish man. Um, <laughs> a lot. I, I, I do have like a handful of my clients that come here as a single lady. Wow. And then they enjoy, they enjoy the dating scenes a lot here. Um, and um, yeah, some of them they just come here to look for a husband. So uh, oh. never mind, right? Well, single women listen and to yeah, talk you could to just, Lily. Th that's another that's another possibility. <laughs> talk to Lily yeah. to get you to come here to look for a husband. Mm. <laughs> However, if you do have a husband, you come here. Before you come here, you have to really think about can your husband help you to do housework. <laughs> That's very important. Well, actually, I have to say, I mean, well, I, I'm lucky I, I have you a hapa. Yeah. Um, but if you ask my husband to do the housework, uh-uh. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, but you have a maid, so therefore it's different. And um, yeah, so, so, so these are the questions you have to really think about. Are you ready to uh, pull out your sleeve and uh, be no. the maid? Don't, Just all the transition don't time. Don't scare them. You can find a part time. Don't scare yeah, them. Okay, if you need, I, I will get my Filipino helper to introduce some oh, Filipino yeah. Yeah. maids yeah, to you. Good. I think that's good. Yeah, yeah. Actually, she has a lot of good friends. I think my so clients, that will my be clients be love to have those. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Let's talk later about this. Okay, I will help you. <laughs> So we have uh, got this uh, <laughs> dish called Popo Afela. Actually, <laughs> actually, she's already eaten some. I'm so, I'm so kind of <laughs> I forget. So hey, stop! Stop! Okay, okay, okay. I have to talk about this dish. Sure, sure, stop! Sure, sure. <laughs> so um, this is um, the um, octopus in the Galician way. Um, it's actually very easy. You just buy some. You just buy some uh, cooked octopus from the supermarket. You slice it and put some good olive oil and then sea salt and paprika and um and grill and them or? no 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 it's just you just buy the bald one in the supermarket oh, so it's you so don't need to cook it so no 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 oh it's so easy god. this dish oh my god and if you warm it warm you when you slice the the octopus you just put in the microwave maybe 30 seconds 20 seconds and then you put the oh seasoning god, I knew. I yeah it's so it. easy <laughs> it's so easy and actually the spanish they they like it uh, soft so usually what they do is they put it in the freezer and so that the fiber will be broken and then they boil it for a long time um, before they they slice it. Um, I know the Chinese people actually they don't some of them they don't like the very soft uh, texture um, but this is the way in Spain they how they eat the octopus and I, I really like it it's actually better for digestion right yeah, <laughs> yeah.